didn't start the goddamn party without me. Again. Good to see you too. I've been waiting for you, your majesty. As you can see, this party, our last party, cannot begin without its star. I'm sorry. The line at the hardware store was horrendous. I got here as fast as I could. It seems like I'm always waiting on you. I don't want to face this day, so cut me some slack. I always do. But why don't you do the same for me? Uh, there's slack all over here. We have got to do a lot better tonight. You mean I have to do a lot better. Become some boring little Benny Bunny who waits on you hand to foot a little cocktail twitching. You know, that's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean. Well, look, we talked about the last time. You know this isn't easy for me. I can't imagine what it is. So please forgive me while I rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic. In your absence. Please, start the party! Whoa. Okay. Captain, I really don't like your butch side. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Let's stop this. It's just all getting to me. You don't have to be superwoman all the time. I know. Help me pack my stuff. We can pack as we party, huh? How about that? I am as good as anyone else. Bring it up. <laughs> right, sure you are. We will have uh, regular breaks, though, during our packing party. Uh, maybe. Just uh, no long ones, okay? Uh, just one short break. For fromage. Oh, fine, just cheese and crackers. Every labor union would allow us a few regular breaks. Even the post office allows me a break. <laughs> what about the mirror here? It seems so disembodied there. Keep thinking of the little girl named Alice who's gonna come through at any minute. God damn it! I forgot the box for the mirror. The the crowds, the idiotic traffic. Shit! I need you to be sharp and clear for me. I'm really not thinking straight. It's okay. I'll carry it as long as we wrap it in something. No, oh, no, no. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're so accident prone. You do not want to risk any more bad luck. My luck is changing. Ever since I met you, kid. You're such a liar. I love it. <laughs> as far as bad luck, I hope you're not thinking of my bitter divorce uh, for Chester. I, I, I knew as soon as I said it I shouldn't have. I apologize. I wasn't thinking about your old battle axe or little Chester. Just how you walk into things sometimes. I mean, look, the world does not move for us anymore. Even when you walk down the street, it's a wall of people and they refuse to give way. I mean, whatever happened to two-way sidewalks and two-way streets? I will guard the mirror with my life mm. and fight off the barbarians. <laughs> and you do that. <laughs> Why don't we have some of these fine cheese and crackers that I so carefully prepared for you? Oh, I was just about to suggest that. <clears throat> uh, fromage, mademoiselle. Huh? Mademoiselle, I'm flattered. I must be a mere slip of a girl in this light. All is possible in the magic of the storage room. <laughs> a little bubbly? Mm -hmm. well, let's not do any bubbly right now. Forever. We must remain sharp. Got it. Mm -hmm. We could do it with a little dancing. Oh, I am fantastic at the light fantastic. Oh. What is your preference? Uh, boogie woogie? Oh. <laughs> Disco? <gasps> Mosh pit? Um, improvised tango? Oh, exotic. Okay, I'm okay. All right. Uh, Stretch out your hands, girl. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> but, uh, Two, one, two, and three. Just one, two, and three. 
I did really use Chester's drum. Keep the beat. Don't let it all get you down, Sean. We're gonna make it through this. Hey, if things get too bad, we always got the problem. Why can't? I deliberately asked you not to bring any booze. Well, an impossible request in the story. Why is it so impossible? It is the price of admission in the La Cage de l'Amour. So says you. But I'd like to see the real Benny. For once. What the hell? Let's get back to packing. Jesus Christ, woman. Huh. He's a good one to call on. We talk about waiting for people. I mean, aren't saviors supposed to show up every once in a while? Your saviors are always running late. Oh, you're always running late. <sighs> Are you a savior? Do you need one? Because if you do, I've got news for you. I'm nobody's savior. Yeah, that's fine. If there are any saviors out there, let them come to our parties. Whatever happened to the good old binge to the end party? The music, the lights, where did all the laughter go? We're supposed to be celebrating you moving upstate. Up and out of this evil city while I finally leave this place and find a rented room. Our love haven gone forever. Farewell, Eden, Eden, Eden. I'm sorry. This time I don't know how to celebrate myself. But I can celebrate you getting your comic book published. But not myself. Hey, please. They're cold graphic novels. <laughs> and thank you for remembering. I toasted my success, but there's a slight complication. I hope that they turn your, what was it? Graphic, graphic novel mm. into a movie, <laughs> and that you never have to deliver snail mail again. I want that for you. Well, you see, Paula, underneath it, you are a sweetheart after all. I want you to see that you're not a failure. How can I be a failure when I worship you? I have no other goddess before thee. I think of you every time I'm delivering priority catalogs of all the things I can't afford. Oh. There was this one uh, for this deluxe bathroom, big as my own apartment. The whole happy rich family can all have the joy of taking a royal dump. <laughs> And I know the rich are full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have you. I can deal without all the material things in life as long as I know I've got time with you. See? You can say sweet nothings without the booze. Oh, madame, you cut me to the quick. You goof around so much that we run out of time for what we want to say to one another. What we're afraid to say. I'm afraid. Well, we say it all in this room. Why stop now? You, you don't want to hear it. I am all ears, full of thick wax. <laughs> You're a very special person, really. We're in agreement. I mean, who else would put up with this arrangement? I mean, none other than me. When we're here, we, we dream. I mean, my imagination really lives here. It is, was, such a haven. Mushrooms also grow in the darkness. As we know, our last crop was stellar. Right. <laughs> it's not what you wanted to say, is it? Shit, no. <clears throat> you want to dump me? Yes. And no. Oh, that's a new one. I, I want all of the good things from this self-storage rendezvous. I, I want the caresses and your warm body and the way you cling to me at night. I want the laughs and your banter playing in my ear. That's the jackpot for me. Why can't we 
just keep going. Because you're always under the influence. You're just now noticing this. Don't mock me. No, I... Listen, we've been coming here for over a year, nearly every weekend, and you're just now noticing that I like to have a little buzz every now and then? A little buzz? I mean, half the time you're on another planet. The fact that you're bringing this up now is suspicious, to say the least. Uh, well, I look the other way, but just not today. I need to know if there is another Benny. Not a Benny who's always on the party, but the one who might walk out that door with me clean and sober. No, no, you found someone else. That is what this is about. There is nobody else. And after you, I, I'm afraid to make friends, let alone take a lover. With anyone. No one. No one has your style. And you, you have me wrapped around your finger, and you know it. And we don't fuck, we make love. I, I won't settle for anything less. Let's stay on this party, you know, let's see where it takes us. I, I, I wish this was clear cut. I, I, I almost wish that you would hit me so that I could hate you and I could leave. You know, it's under control. All right, my little problem. Like hell it is. Name one day you've gone without drinking. Today, in fact, at your request. Sorry, but you can't get off this roller coaster now. I no, 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 no. Yes, I can. I've been playing along to keep it all rolling along. I needed to forget a lot of things, and. You, you're the life of the party. A few drinkies and we're off. Jesus Christ. I just realized you're my drug of choice. Hold me. We're so good together in here. I don't want to walk those streets anymore. They're, they're so ugly, so filled with garbage. And people treat themselves like garbage. Nothing is precious. Everything is cheap. We have our own little clean, well-lit place here to read and, and, and write and laugh. Sometimes I, I just need a little help to keep the world at bay. You know, so what? Don't leave me like this, okay? Let's stay together, and we'll be back to laughing in no time. In no time, sweetheart, in no time. No, Benny. It's a trick we play on ourselves. There is no heaven on earth. And like you said, we have to leave Eden. Help me with my goddamn books. Why suffer so much, Paula? Why can't we cheat life a bit? You know, that that's the secret to our success. Every week we come here and we perform miracles. Or maybe we just tread water. Uh, well, if so, we do it in style. You know, things are so bad that even treading water is a miracle. I don't want to tread water anymore. I need to start living again. We need to really start this party. <laughs> I need music. You, you find the boombox. You will not order me around. You will stop being so annoying. Loosen up. This is our last night in Paula and Benny's self-storage palace. I want to cry and laugh and sing. I have to sing. We have to sing. Help me find the boombox. Christ on a cross. Did you pack it already? Will you help me? Amazing Grace for you. <laughs> well, that's, you do a stirring version of it, darling, but it's not quite Sunday morning yet. I know. Danny Boy is off limits. I bet you haven't found the boom box. It's a lost cause, I'm afraid. Some party. No booze, no muse. Good spirits will never visit us again.
we are frequently in contact with them. When Chester is near me, I get goosebumps. It's the same as when you're holding me before you leave on Sundays. It's like he's holding me. Just like you wrap your coils, coil yourself around me when I'm yours. Why don't you just take the leap with me? What are you so scared of? What a stupid question. You'll leave me just like the rest. That's not how it works. If you don't take this leap with me, you give me no choice but to leave. I fell into your world. It, it's time to just take a plunge into mine. Go all clean and sober, though, right? No, no bad boy behavior. Uh, castrated conformist. I'm not castrating. It's not. Or conforming. Fine, but let me tell you, you don't want to see me without the drink. Maybe I do. I mean, why don't we give it a chance? Yeah, I'm going to get really angry if you don't stop this. You know, I can't keep this up much longer. I'm going to have to smooth out the rough edges very soon. Or what, you'll melt? I'm telling you, it's not a pretty sight. Do you want to see me get the shakes? Or dry heaves? Huh? Is that what you want so you can feel completely superior? I will take you to the hospital. The hospital can wait. Well, then you can walk there yourself. There's a ton of bars along the way. Uh, your bitter tongue, not sure. I say what needs to be said. So I then. At the end of the day, you have it easy. What? So goddamn easy. Your husband dumps you for a younger model, and the world has to pay for it. If you're going to get abusive, I will leave. If you said you want me worse than all, so shut up and listen. You, you, you got a little edge on? I mean, maybe we should get you an IV with grain alcohol. Just admit that you're a broken person just like me. Yeah, you're, you're Mr. Money Whore takes the house, but he leaves you a pile of cash. Yeah, you don't have to work again, but you do for hours on end, just to kill the time and drown out the voices that echo in your beautiful new home. I know that I am screwed up. I am working on it. I am starting over. I have a life coach and a therapist, which is more than I can say for you. Bullshit. Now, I'm the only one who is honest here because I don't know how to fix myself. See, I don't know how to wake up every morning and know that my son died in my arms. You know the great bastard that we call God? Let me down. And so did you. But you do get up every morning, sober or not. And every breath I take is an insult to Justin. I should be in the dirt, rotting away, not him. And you won't be satisfied until you are. That's how I honor him. If you don't understand that, we should part. Maybe so. Well, this is some party you've got going on here. Wait a minute. How does drinking yourself to death bring him back? If I stay in the ether, I can collect his soul when he comes to visit. He can then take my body, and I'll die. That's my plan. Great solution. So the booze rots your brain, and erases every good memory of him, and then you leave him a ravaged body. What sense does that make? I'll take the risk. Please, please stop the bullshit! How I get through the day is my business. You know, you don't know, you really don't know. The tragedy is all around us. None of us escape it, no matter what the, the TV talk shows or the pop psychology bullshit tells you. We all get at least one dance of tragedy. You know, yeah, don't kid yourself. We only break even with tragedy. It either consumes us forever, or we get to walk away with wounds that will never heal. You think I'll ever be free of that night? 
Have you ever had a wound that'll never heal? I, I'm stuck in some kind of loop. I can't get out of it. Try some reality. The accident wasn't your fault. That car hit us. I should have seen it coming. I should have died that night, not Chester. My son dies and I get to live? Where's the justice in that? Where's the mercy? I don't know what mercy is. So now I just stand as a guardian at the edge of the abyss, holding on to his memory like, like he held on to his kite, or played his beloved drum. He actually used to hate it. But I really loved it when he played. Like a little soldier battling into hell. What do you know about it? All you've ever lost is real estate. Don't you dare. I, I had no second act after the marriage died. I made his world my world, and he took it all back. The mansions, the parties, the friends, the perks, done. And the story for Paula. See the pathetic first wife who didn't see the devastation coming? I, I, I don't even have a child to lose. He made sure of that. So please, be accurate. I have lost a hell of a lot more than real estate, God damn it! And you can go back to your world, huh? Let me stay in mine. He, he made me do it. I'm sorry, what? He, he talked me into giving the abortion. That was a sign. He had an expiration date for our marriage from day one. So, not only do I not want to go back, but I can't. It's filled with people who have too much money spending it hand over fist to try and get rid of the pain of life. I am ready for reality and all of its pain. But this time, it's my life. My turns. I cannot get lost in the wrong man. So, if, if you'll give up your enemy, the bottle, I will help you. But those are my terms. Well, you're really fucking serious about this. There's only room for you and me. Not three. Forgive me, Paula. I can't come with you. Not now. I see great things for you, Paul. <laughs> You're one of the lucky ones. You get to escape. Don't I get a goodbye hug? Don't you dare come near me. Do you know how much it kills me to watch you drink yourself to death? Do you ever get a shit about what it did to me? You're just using the last two step as an excuse to drink. It could have been anything. Get out! Not before I'm done. Everybody said that I was crazy to get involved with batshit crazy Betty. Well, you were. Everybody gives up on me. Because you drive it all away. You can't stand getting close to me or anybody. Sure, as long as the, the booze is flowing and we, we we're gliding over our problems, everything is fantastic. Never better. Yet, as soon as there is a chance for a connection, a moment of tenderness, or, or even friction, you 
ended with him. I have no right to be here. I am absent because I chose to be. I am abstaining for life. It's the only protest I know. It's the only way to get the world to acknowledge what it did to them. How long are you going to make the world suffer? Justin. Justin. Come here, boy. I order you. Come on now, Chester. Daddy's here. This time it'll be okay. What would you say to him if he walked out of that dirt? What would you say to him? Don't. Just, just let him hear your voice one more time. Not now, Paul. You say that we're not alike. But that's not true. You were right. Do you want to be with someone who is beyond repair? Find someone who is working properly. You deserve that. What would the challenge be with that? <laughs> I'm an amazingly complicated man, aren't I? Mm -hmm. A madman who drinks himself to death and lies about it. Not even original. You could put an end to all of this by taking my hand. You have been drunk for three years, but you can get yourself back. We can carve out our own niche, our own haven out there. This was just a test. What? Leave all of this splendor behind? I have this theory that we all get at least two chances to find our soulmate. The first time, maybe it's Cupid or God or hormones. Something hits us with involuntary love and some people go for it. Bam! That's it. First love forever. But most of us miss that first chance because we don't trust it. We don't trust what's right in front of us. So we miss it by a mile. We flub it up and we miss out on forever. <laughs> That's the sad part of my theory. So far, it sounds about right. Mm. Love generally sucks. <laughs> the variable is the second chance. There must be millions of second chances out there that we just don't see. Meeting you at that flea market was one of them. I'm with you there. I never thought it was random. I don't believe in random. Not now. Benny, I see a world where we're together. We get to taste the joys of life before it's over because we deserve it. You deserve it. Enough with all of this bitterness. My, my heart can't take any more. However, my theory might fall apart. I would hate to ruin your theory. I can't 
do all of the work. I need you in the present. I know I'm asking for a lot. It, it could be easy. I, I could just leave his things here. So he has something to play with when he visits. He could be off in some parallel universe, zooming in. Maybe he's just shy with both you and me here. He'll, he'll come when he's ready. They're his things anyway. I'm so glad I got him that snare drum. Perfect timing. That boy had perfect rhythm. Paula, please. It's so hard for me to be in the present. Understand that. I can't join the dead. I can't join the living. I'm trying to find some wormhole out of it. If I lose you, that's it. You're my last link to the present. What? What's up? Do you? Do you hear that? It's a, it's a march. Can you hear it? Yeah. It's marvelous. It's very, very faint. No. You, um, could you take me to the hospital? I think I need a few days of vacation. Sure thing. What about your books and your... No, 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 we can leave it. Let's go. Okay. I've been having the shakes all day. I want to be a good boy for you. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Shall we? Vinci could paint you and all your mysteries. I wish I was an angel. They have wings. We only have two feet per person. So, one step in front of the other. Okay. Oh, Christ, no, I, I can't, I can't do it. I don't know if I can do it.
Do you mind if I hold your hand? It would be my honor. Au revoir, Chester. Paula, do you, do you think you could lock up? Um, I'll meet you at the, uh, the elevator. Dear God. 